Well, good morning, everyone. We just finished a little while back the Canaman Strait, which is like, like almost like a canal. We land on both sides. Beautiful scenery. A Ferris wheel that I did not get a chance to record. And now we're on our way to Fukuoka. I think it's how you say it. I'm sure somebody's gonna correct me later, but we're on that way to Japan at our next stop before two sea days and then we head to Beijing, China for two days. So yeah, we have about two hours left before we land or actually before we dock and then we can continue our journey on land. Right now we're just chilling, everybody's just laying out in the sun, a little windy, but we're just chilling waiting to get to dock. So we have a lot to see today, we want to see some gardens, there's supposed to be some kind of ruins of a castle that we want to go check out, and yeah, let's see where we head. I'll talk to you in a few. And it's kind of cool, we're here about to dock. We went straight into the harbor, right toward that pointy building. And then the ship literally does a complete turnaround. So we could dock right in that area. The port of Akata. So it's kind of cool how the ship could just, in the middle of the bay, just flip around. Anyway. I'll see you all downstairs as we enter the city. First, gotta go get some food, like always. So we're in Fukuoka, Japan. And we're gonna get on this shuttle that takes us into town by the city hall from there. We're close to the castle ruins, about a 20 minute walk or so. Then Canal um, Shopping Center. That's on the opposite direction, but all right next to the city hall where they're gonna drop us off. So nice of the town to Give us these shuttles to bring us in town and out of these poor areas. So, I'll see you over on the other side. Found another festival here, and we've just been here, just got off the buses a few seconds ago. And right across City Hall, where they dropped us off, is a park. They have a festival going on with food. You, it looks like you taste test some of the food, um, buy some products. And they're doing some kind of little show down there with some characters that I'm not aware of who they are. We're gonna check it out in just a minute. I'm gonna do some shopping first and I'll catch you in a minute. First product here at the fair. Asian pear in Asia. Had to get one of these. I tried the sample and it was delicious. So that's my souvenir for here. Oh, they're leaving. Let's see if we catch up. So it's kind of cool. I don't know what kind of characters they are, but... Oh, they're doing some kind of show up there, a game show or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Reminds me of what I see on TV, a Japanese uh, game show type feel. The little suits on, but they're wearing a silly hat. Years, why not? Anyway, it's an absolutely beautiful day here. You see people all around with their dogs, their kids, their family members, all just laying out, chilling, eating, and just enjoying the day. I'm going to walk around the city because it's got lots to do. I'm going to try to see the castle ruins and see Canal City, which is a big shopping center. Looks like a big mall, has a little water show from what I understand out there, so we're going to try to do all that. And see where it goes from there. I thought it was funny is that when we saw those little aquarium uh, fish, you pick your fish and they stick it on the, st the stick through them and grill it right there in front of you. I thought I've never seen that before. Well, they have a clock here just like they did in the last place we were at. Where the things come out of the wall, you have the little dancers and everything, a little clown pops out, dancers. Really cool looking. We got here 
We brought it to tell Andy, so I couldn't videotape it. But it was really cool looking. I'm loving that little clock shows. It hits on like, I don't know if it's at the top of every hour or whatnot, but it's a nice little, hey, it's top of the hour to you. Gonna head into this Mandrake place. Looks like, I don't know if you could rent books or comics or movies. Right outside in the open, doesn't seem to be security. Let's look around. So it looks like you buy all kind of toys and anime and whatnot. So this is definitely a gamer's and uh, toy collector's dream. Got tons of Japanese and um, old American um, characters from like Transformers, from all kinds of um, Voltron and Star Wars and oh, even A character from Saul. So a little of everything here. I'm trying to find a Mega Man X for my friend. So I'm gonna keep looking and then head to my next location, which is the ruins. I keep getting distracted uh, as I walk around and see these different cool stores. On our way to the castle of ruins, and on the side of the street, there's this little downward stairs, and then you got all these. Look at that. You never know what you're gonna find just walking around the city. Sightseeing. It's a massive section of these plants. And there's a city in the background. This is pretty close to the ruins. We shouldn't have much more to walk. Got the plants over here, other side of the bridge, got the other plants. So it's on both sides of the entrance into the castle ruins. Fukuoka's castle ruins. This used to be one of the largest um, castles in Japan back in the day. It had 47 turrets, it had samurai headquarters, four floors in this compound. Obviously there's the park over there where we just came from. They're playing in the field soccer right behind me, which is very interesting to see when you're on the property of castle but it is castle ruins so I guess they just use all the parts of the land for the community which is very cool but otherwise very cool here I mean tons of people here just hanging out This is the very top. There's literally not really any pieces of the castle left. There's one building earlier. Plenty of the plum trees. And uh, looks like they're playing baseball over in that field. We saw soccer earlier. They were track and field. So it looks like the castle ruins is surrounded by different sports fields. So very interesting. So we just finished with the castle ruins. But I suggest going there. 
Well, if you have plenty of time, sure, go there. There's beautiful views, nice trees, nature-ish, lots of sports fields around it. But if you're short on time, I think there's so many other things you can do here in this city that are fun. Right now, we're gonna walk back across the town and head over to the Canal City, which is a shopping center that I wanna go check out. We have a little water show. So we're gonna go look that and see what else we can look around town before it gets nighttime. Just walked in this store. It looks like little crane games everywhere. You can buy different anime characters. And it looks like these. <laughs> and these. Interesting store there, tons of crane games, very unique prizes. But we're right next to the Fukuoka station, which is right up ahead. And we're gonna keep on looking around these shops. It's just fun to walk in them. Even if you don't get anything, it's just very unique to see the different things they have here. Then you even got the little casino here on the side where you had like in the last place we were at, the last city we all those people are lined up playing their slot machines. Oh, there's another one in the plaza. Big thing here, it looks like. A little video game arcade gambling, I guess. You can't go wrong with my man, Colonel Sanders, and KFC here in Japan. I'm this close to skipping, trying to get my treats from every city and eat me some KFC. It's my, one of my favorite. Just passing through the station and I see there's a escalator type conveyor belt for people's bicycles, mopeds, whatnot, from when they're coming from underground. Coming up there's the st stairs for you. And there's a little ramp that you put your bike on and it pulls the bike up as you go up. There's those little random things we just happen to keep running across. Off to Canal City. Almost to Canal City, but I had to stop off at this bridge just right down the road from it and see the beautiful sights. So we made it, Canal City. You got the beautiful canals the cranes, they set up some lanterns, a little food uh, stall area. And we're gonna head on inside after all day uh, wandering around and making different stops. We're gonna head inside and see what this is all about. Catch you on the inside.
in the canal, city, mall, district, whatnot. You got some Japanese rock and roll in the background. I don't know what they're saying, but it sounds cool. They're energetic. And hey, it's something new for me, so I'm loving it. They're walking around the mall. I believe this is called a mall. It is huge. A few stories high, massive, has canals in the building. You still hear them singing in the background. But you got, for Halloween, you got pumpkin man fishing inside the, right there in the background, uh, right here in the canal. Make it spice it up. The place is, like I said, massive. Look how big it is here. Let's take a look at it. You see the rockers in the background too. I like the pink. It adds a little color to it. It is, it is massive. I don't know if we'll get through it all. We're gonna head back outside later when it hits nighttime to see what the market looks like right outside with the lanterns and all the lights. The food smells delicious. So we're gonna try to head out there and maybe get a little snack right before the ship. But right now, we're just gonna walk around the mall and take in the sights. Been in Japan, multiple cities, and this is the first Godzilla I've got to encounter. A little scary. Okay. So I've got the hanger. Mm. So the noodles are good. I've got the hang of the chopsticks. I know it's probably not the way I see everybody else doing it, but it still seems to work. Now, I got that big pound of noodles and that beef. The beef seems to be just all fat. And I don't know where the meat is, but the noodles are delicious. And for 10 bucks, experiencing a different culture. Well worth it. So we just finished eating at the night market outside Canal City Shopping Center. Food was delicious. I did go by and find some uh, beef steak that they grilled with a grill, but they also used a propane torch. They used a torch to, it's right here where the guy in the white is. And that was phenomenal. It was nice and juicy, good seasoning. It was delicious. So alas, it's becoming night. We got a recycling center here for all the trash. One thing here is that you don't find trash cans anywhere in Japan. It seems to be only in the certain service areas or sometimes not even in a bathroom. Otherwise, we've had a phenomenal day. Super excited about the next location in China. I get to see the Great Wall of China, the Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square. Let's get to see it all. And but right now, I just want to say thank you to Japan for hosting us. You've been wonderful hosts. And I'll see you when we hit Okinawa. Until then, now earlier, right before we came to the night market, we saw these little mopeds hooking up to their these little wooden trolleys. They hooked up to them and looked like little portable restaurants. And sure enough, they've set it up. You got all these little restaurants have now lined up and they're opening up. And just a long line of them. It's really cool. Got the little stool set up. They're starting to cook. They're getting ready. It's not completely dark or anything right now. There's some light, but if I hadn't just eaten a ton of food, I'd be eating in one of these little stalls. Because this looks <laughs> really authentic. It's really cool that they used a moped to pull these little restaurants down the street and brought them down here. So this, I don't know if it's every day this market is, or if it's just one time, one day a week. Oh, Christy says it's a Sunday that they do this. So we just lucked out that we're here on a Sunday when they brought this, because this is our thing. This is definitely Christy's thing. 
where we try all the local foods or just like eating, trying different things. You can see a little boat right behind us. Going down the canal. Take my hand, I'm gonna walk you through Ramadi. I'm gonna help you sleep tonight. A kind of fearsome, like a child without his dreams at night. I wanna help you dream tonight.